We are continuing to follow breaking news out of Lebanon, where a massive explosion has hit the capital of Beirut, injuring people and causing widespread damage across the city. It reportedly happened in the port area of Beirut, but it's not clear yet what caused the blast. Witnesses told the Associated Press they saw many people injured by flying glass and debris. Lebanon's health minister has already spoken about numerous injuries and extensive damage. For more on this, CBS News foreign correspondent Chris Livesay joins us now from Rome. Hi, Chris. What more can you tell us about the potential source of this blast, or was it actually two explosions? Well, Tanya, to call it a big explosion uh, just seems like an understatement. And the number of blasts is also still very hard to determine. According to state media, it was a fireworks explosion inside of an area where they were keeping these explosives. However, however military sources have told uh, Al Jazeera and other media that this was an area where they kept confiscated explosives. However, it's important to emphasize that this is breaking news and it's just too soon to confirm the actual source of the explosions. And it did indeed seem like a series of small explosions that crescendoed in that massive explosion that you've seen that rippled throughout the entire city, causing damage from miles away, not just throughout the rest of the city, but even out to sea. Uh, sailors, uh, fishermen who were out uh, fishing uh, videotaped the explosion and even felt the shock waves. Shards of glass ripped through the city, causing immense damage that is just too hard to tally right now. Hospitals are having a hard time dealing with the wounded and indeed are calling for emergency blood donors to now step up. So you're saying the circumference of the blast could be miles? Is, is that how far, you say partially out to sea, the entire city of Beirut felt the shocks and even outside the city? Indeed, for miles away, the damage was reported, as you can see in some of this citizen footage that's coming in via Twitter and other social media. Uh, you can see just how quick the speed of light is compared to the speed of sound because the explosion hits and then many seconds go by in some cases before the actual shock waves hit the people who are taking this citizen footage. So again, it's just very hard to overstate the intensity of this blast, which left an enormous mushroom cloud in its wake. And indeed, we just don't know how many people have suffered, how many people have been injured or killed by this blast, which couldn't have come at a more sensitive time when there are already various political explosions uh, taking place in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak. There is an economic uh, turmoil that is just unparalleled anywhere else in, in the world right now. The, the local currency has collapsed, and this comes just before the UN was preparing to release a verdict on Friday in the case of the bombing that killed former Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri 15 years ago. So political tensions are extremely high. And as I mentioned, hospitals are already dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. And on top of that, they now have to deal with the casualties coming in from this explosion. A compounded disaster. All right. Well, Chris Livesay, thank you so much for that report.